Kim, I have to admit, um, I haven't really seen your show. What? You haven't been keeping up with it? Uh, Nassim Padrad is on the phone with us. Hello, Nassim. How's it going? It's going good. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Thanks well, for having me. Sure. What are you going to be for Halloween? I think I'm actually going to be Lil Wayne. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Have you been practicing your rapping a costume, skills? <laughs> a costume that I pieced together on Amazon Prime very lazily. <laughs> are you able to piece together a grill so quickly? Um, I just bought one. They're very readily available. You can get anything on that website. <laughs> cool. That's um, fantastic. Yeah. I'm not like, I don't work for them. I don't get money from them. I just literally was like, what's the easiest way to make a Halloween costume happen? Cause yeah, I mean, I'm not saying it's going to look great. And the tattoos alone are going to be very tedious. Right. Are you going to do like the stick on ones? Or are you going to have someone like actually draw on you i didn't even think to do that because he's got sleeves i feel like his are so specific though i'm gonna i can at least handle my left arm because i'm right-handed but i'm gonna need a buddy to like hit up my right arm what about the skateboard does he have a skateboard yeah he's a big skater he's a big skater i didn't know that but like that's an easy now thing. I'm on an errand to r- find a <laughs> <laughs> And then you have to learn how to ride it. Well, um, le- and I need to rap well. <laughs> yeah, at least you have the rapping and the street cred down, so that's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, any, if there's anything I'm known for, it's both of those things. <laughs> uh, Nassim, we think you're great. You're you're one of our favorite all-time SNL cast members. Lovely, talented. You're you're co-starring in Mulaney on NBC right now. Uh, I'm just if. Oh, if man, if we can go back to the SNL days for a second. And by the way, there, we, we sort of didn't know. Are you still on that show in some capacity, or are you totally done with it? No, I mean, I moved to, you know, L.A. to do Mulaney because that was shooting out here. And so, yeah, I, I haven't been the cast this season. Uh, but I did go back to an after party last I, I was Mulaney and I were in New York for work, and we finished around nine and we got dinner and we were like should we go to the snl after party and it completely (laughs) felt like when you graduate high school and you're that like creep that comes back (laughs) it was insane everyone was so sweet but on the inside we felt crazy (laughs) so you you a little bit out of place you hit on some of the freshman cast members right 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 yeah it was so fun to see everyone now that you're out in la do you ever bump heads with kim kardashian who you're known for impressioning on SNL? You know, I did meet her once and um, <laughs> I spent my life fearing that it's going to happen again. <laughs> she was actually so cool that I'm sure it'd be great if it did. Um, yeah, I'm trying to I, I haven't I haven't really seen her, but she, when I did meet her a few years ago, she was just this tiny little quiet millionaire oh, this, <laughs> this is pre-kanye kim it was i think because we were doing it was like right after we did this divorce special on snl so you know i i assume kanye was in her life i mean, i know they've known each other forever but i don't think they were together yet i gotcha. assume she's probably still tiny and quiet and a millionaire though <laughs> even after yeah kanye. yeah yeah all of those things just slightly even more of a millionaire <laughs> Uh, we know you also do uh, Bruno Mars, Ariana Huffington, um, Aziz. Did, did you have an impression uh, that, that you love that did not make it onto the show? Oh, man. Um, I mean, I did Dora the Explorer in my audition. <laughs> and <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> they were... I was always trying to get that on. They're like, uh, she is a cartoon character. <laughs> um, I did like some weirder ones, like Charlotte... I did like Charlene Yee in my audition, and I don't know if you know who that actress is. She's that was part of the problem with getting right. tiny and Asian to, like, and put it on. Yeah, yeah, she was that like bizarre stoner, adorable little stoner girl and knocked up. Yeah, the knocked up. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I remember her. Okay, that would have been awesome. Yeah, it's not the best 
<laughs> impression to like convince them to let you go on SNL when you have to have a full discussion first about exactly who she is. So many things that never saw the light of day. We are talking with Nassim Pedrad, formerly of SNL, now of now of Mulaney on NBC. Uh, for, forgive us, Nassim, is this your first sitcom? It is. Yeah, I mean, my first sitcom, I get to work with Martin Short and Elliot Gould, these, like, two living legends. Um, it's been a, it's been so much fun. Did you have, like, a favorite sitcom growing up? I, I mean, I grew up loving Cosby Show. I still will watch uh, Golden Girls if it's on. That thing <laughs> holds up. Um, yeah, I have, like, a nostalgic association with so many sitcoms. Um even, like, my parents were obsessed with Three's Company, so I've seen every episode of that. I think the thing I probably watched the most was I Love Lucy. Like, I used to, like, lie and pretend I was sick to stay home and, and watch that because it would, like, rerun all day. It's the best. Um, I can talk to you forever about Three's Company. Best. Who was your favorite, who was your favorite <laughs> landlord in Three's Company? I mean, the Furleys were great. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Ropers were great. Mr. Furley was, like... Which one came first? Do you remember? I always get like the timeline mixed up when I think about that show. I believe Did the Ropers come after. I think the Ropers were first, and then it was Don Knotts. Um, there, okay, there know. may have been a thing where he came back. Do you remember the handkerchief that Don Knotts used to wear as Mister Furley and those like blue jumpsuit suits? Um, yes. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like I. Bought it off eBay and I'm wearing it right now. Oh God! You know what? If I if, if I thought that that costume would be relevant today, that's what I should have been for Halloween. One hundred percent. That something to think about for next year. Uh, Remember when like Chris Chrissy like changed for a while? There was a lot of like Christy changes on that show. I know her cousin with the huge. Uh, I mean, every every blonde person in that role had huge cans, but it was her. Cousin <laughs> that was like somebody from a Juicy Fruit commercial, and then did Suzanne Summers come back, or was there a third Chrissy? I don't remember. I just remember Janet being. Yeah, I think Suzanne Summers was later. I love that you know so much Three's Company trivia. <laughs> it's sort of pathetic, and I also wanted hair like Larry for quite some time. Um, I, I know. So we've been, oh my god, Larry! <laughs> we've been watching the show, and in the last, the Halloween episode, you, um, one of the spoiler, one of the neighbors dies, and you like try to take his apartment, and you do this <laughs> ridiculous song. Um, are we going to see any more songs oh from you? You are going to see so many silly things on that show. John really, you know, he tr- he, of course, much like me, like grew up on traditional sitcoms, but he really wanted to go to wonderfully weirder places with this show and little by little you'll see that we we definitely do that um there's like flashbacks that are so fun and so many like funny episodes coming up that i hope you know people tune in to get to see uh yeah i first of all i'm not a singer but he was like you're gonna have a full musical number um, it was adorable. I did kind of more of a talk singing thing, I think. <laughs> Nassim, I feel bad because we spent a lot of time talking about Three's Company, but we have to go. Um, you're awesome. Do you want to it take us? so great to talk to you guys. Do you want to take us out? Do you remember the Three's Company theme song? Come and knock on our door. Come and knock on my door. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. We'll be waiting for you. Because we live in a hers and hers and her three's company. Two company, two. Bye, Nassim. Bye, guys.